Hey, what's going on? Before we get started into this video, I just wanted to ask if any of you have any questions for an up and coming, hopefully, Q&A video that I have planned coming on this channel at some point soon when I have enough questions, then really appreciate your questions if you can put them down in the description down below. I currently have a few, like two or three questions, but I really want to have at least five or six questions for a video to actually like make the video worth doing. Um, so if, if you could ask me a question uh, to do with anything, whether it's traveling languages or just like anything in general, um, then I'd really appreciate that and I'd answer it in the Q&A of course and um, it'll be a cool way to put you guys into the video as well, just um, introduce my audience into the videos. Anyway, the UK is back into another lockdown, hashtag lockdown number two. Um, it's not actually not in lockdown just yet, it'll be in lockdown in a few days from now on Thursday I think and today is currently Monday so we've got a few days before we actually go into lockdown. Um, but obviously this is just making it very, very difficult for me to really make content right now. I chose a really bad year to become a travel vlogger for sure. Um, 2020. Actually, I chose like 2019, like December 2019. But basically 2020, I decided to become a travel vlogger. And um, it's been a good year not, uh, in terms of like vlogging and traveling and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. But like ever since May... Like, I, I think, yeah, like, May time. Um, it's really just been terrible for me in terms of, like, trying to make videos because I can't just fly away to Europe somewhere because trying to book tickets and stuff is really difficult and it's just, like, uh, really hard to actually get something going. It's a miracle I was able to actually get the Poland trip done just because um, being able to have the time off work and actually book it, like, being able to afford to go to Poland and then being able to get, like, the transport and... Um, you know, being able to travel around without Poland being into a lockdown too much. You know, everything that goes into it, as well as the fact now COVID is on top. Uh, I was lucky enough I didn't have to self-isolate when I came back. About one or two weeks after I came back from Poland, they then introduced the, the rule that Poland uh, is now on that list where if you come back from Poland to the UK, you didn't have to self-isolate for two weeks. Happened to one of my friends. Um, so I really escaped that one uh, narrowly by a couple of weeks. And uh, I really enjoyed Poland, so I decided to book a couple more trips. Um, both of those I was meant to go on, and they've both passed. Um, I'm just trying to find them now here on my phone. Um, here we go. So, um, just to show you um, like how my year has looked, because what I do is I document like every holiday that I have planned and then I've put a big tick to say that I've been there or a big X to say that like for one reason or another it's been cancelled. There is uh, one on here which was in February which I cancelled because I had another thing planned that somebody got me for uh, Christmas so I didn't want to be a jerk and say I can't do that because I've got this holiday booked. Um, so I just decided to not go there. Um, but let me show you on here anyway. Just by looking at this list, Lisbon was the one I was just on about where I, I just cancelled off my own back. But then we had Bidgosz, which is actually another place in Poland I was meant to go to. Abu Dhabi. Um, then I had Croatia, which was meant to be on the same weekend as Poland that I also had cancelled. I haven't updated the two at the bottom yet, but Kosice and also Stockholm. If you wasn't aware, Kosice is a, a city, I think the second biggest city within uh, Slovakia. I was actually at one point just before going... Um, trying to learn some Slovak so I could actually just use that while getting around. And also Stockholm, you might know already, is the capital of Sweden. And I wanted to go to the, both of those places. Again, it was like mm, sort of cheap, but it was a bit more expensive than normal. And I basically just wanted to go there because I booked those holidays for those dates. Um, the most recent one being Stockholm, it was meant to be literally October 31st to, the, to yesterday. Uh, but I didn't go because... Again, COVID and it really just messed up um, my my planning, my schedule. And again, because Shitsa was meant to be October 3rd to the 4th. Uh, I couldn't do that because, again, um, just before going to Slovakia, Slovakia was actually added in on the list. Um, possibly, I think, the same time as Poland or right thereabouts. And again, by added on the list, what I mean is that I could still go technically, but then I'd have to two-week isolate when I come back. And I, I'm not prepared to do that sort of, um, like, isolation only for, like, a one-day holiday on a weekend. As nice as it would be to do so, um, I just can't afford to do it for both money reasons, work reasons, 
um, constantly being locked away in my house. Um, you know, two weeks at a time, it's a long time. Uh, I don't think it's worth it doing it for like the one day on the weekend. So as you can see there, um, just from COVID alone, I've had Bidgosht, Abu Dhabi, uh, Croatia, Kashitsa and Stockholm, all holidays. Uh, that's five holidays um, that were cancelled or not able to be done because of COVID. Uh, the most, like, the one that I was looking forward to the most was Abu Dhabi, and I'm hoping I can do that next year or just at some point in the future, um, you know, because we were going to obviously do Dubai at the same time. Um, I think that would have just been really cool to do. And that was, rather than, like, a one-day trip, it was, like, going to be, like, a week long. So, again, that was going to be really cool to do. Um, but, again, couldn't do it because of COVID. And I think you get the idea uh, that it's making it really difficult for me to actually do anything. It's making it difficult for me to book any holidays. Uh, almost impossible, actually, to book any holidays. Uh, as I say, there's a list. I, I really don't know how it works for other countries, but in the UK, there's a Gov website, and you can go on it, and it'll tell you which countries you do and don't have to self-isolate from when you come back from. But the issue is that that list is constantly changing on like a day-to-day -day basis. So today, you might be okay to book a holiday for next week to go to Italy, but then tomorrow, they might say, actually, you know what, Italy is now uh, too bad of an area, and we're going to erase that area, and we're going to put it back onto the list, essentially. Then if you come back, you're going to have to self-isolate, that's going to be another like 30, 40, 50 pound. That's like just a waste for me. Um, and again, financially, you can't afford it. And um, it's just, it, it doesn't work out well um, when you do it like that. Like it's just poor planning. Well, not poor planning. It's just, you can't really do much about it. And as I've learned the hard way uh, with those particular holidays, like almost all of them haven't been refunded. Luckily, Abu Dhabi was refunded and that was about it. Uh, I, I've missed out on the money for the others uh, just because budget airlines don't really do refunds or anything like that when it comes to the flights because they're cheap flights and that's sort of the thing you, you pay for or the thing that you don't pay for when you get the tickets is the luxury of being able to have your money refunded. So with that, I can't make travel videos on this channel at the moment, hence why I haven't really been uploading. And we did hit 1.6k subscribers on this channel uh, only the other week, maybe. Uh, my Polish vlogs picked up a bit and then they sort of like plateaued, so like they're not really getting any more views anymore. Um, you know, that's for various reasons. You know, I was putting more tags in and hopefully more like relevant tags, etc. I was trying to do a lot more SEO. Um, but the main thing is, um, but yeah, we hit 1.6, but unfortunately, because I haven't been uploading on this channel, uh, we have dropped that down to like 1.5, 9, 7, 1,597, I think, something like that. Anyway, with my channel being inactive and not being able to upload travel vlogs, it really just like tells you as a viewer that I don't care about this channel. On a normal basis, that might be the case, or maybe just taking a break, whatever it may be. In a situation like this, obviously, COVID is making it almost impossible for me to actually make videos on the topic or the, the genre or the niche, whatever you want to call it, that I want to do, which, again, is travel vlogging. And then I also had the idea, after the first lockdown, um, you know, why not I just travel around the UK? The UK has a lot of nice places if you just look for them. Um, you know, I travel around the UK a lot myself, just with work and outside of work, just on little getaways and stuff like that. I've been around the UK quite a lot. And um, I thought, well, you know, some places would be really cool to do a vlog on. I live nearby uh, quite a few interesting places just within a couple hours drive. You know, I live uh, less than two hours away from Wales and I live um, literally around the corner from Oxford. And, um, you know, it's like a really interesting location where you can really get to most places in England within four hours drive. And that's only really if you're going way up north or if you're going way down south near like Penzance or, you know, around the area somewhere. So I had the idea of doing vlogs like similar to what I was doing travel vlogs but in the UK just to try and get us past this whole COVID thing and just showing off the UK and then showing off my own home country and then hopefully at least that picks up and people still like watch it because the majority of people who watch this channel aren't even from the UK, they're mainly from the USA, I think some from Finland, some from France, you know, they're the bigger countries in the demographics I have watching my videos, although there's really like people from all over the world who watch it. I figured, well, if uh, not many people in the UK really watch my videos, then it might be an idea just to show off the UK anyway, because chances are if you're watching a travel vlog channel, um, you know, if you see UK and you don't live in the UK, you'll probably still be interested to see what it's like. So 
that was my thought process uh, on that sort of whole situation. Nonetheless, I haven't actually started that project yet if I ever get around to like vlogging within the UK. Uh, if I do, then that'll be sometime in the future because as I said in this video, uh, the UK is going down into a second lockdown, which means uh, unfortunately, we're not really meant to be leaving our houses. We're not meant to be leaving our houses unless you're going to work or unless it's like important. Um, hairdressers and uh, non-essential shops and things like that are closing again, which means even if I do travel the UK and if I do find like a loophole or something to travel down to wherever in the UK, um, nothing's going to be open anyway. Um, so there's not going to be any like activities to do. There's not going to be like anything really to see. Um, the whole like traveling industry at the moment, a whole traveling thing at the moment is a little bit of like a tough one to try and make videos on. Um, which is a shame. I, I love traveling regardless of whether I document it or not on a, on a YouTube video. Uh, I really do love traveling and um, again, I can't make videos on this. So it really then boils down to uh, what can I do on this channel? Because I don't want to leave this channel just sitting here. The last video uploaded was in September. Maybe we won't even be able to travel until December, but then there's Christmas, so I can't travel then and I have to wait until January. And then like there's a whole whole load of um, things going on and I can't wait till January to upload another video on this channel like I need something to do on this channel I need some sort of series or just some topic or something to do whether it's like I talk about a certain topic once a week whether it's like a podcasting type of thing or whether you guys would like to see me just sort of talk about the whole COVID situation uh, different points of views or I don't know, like, would you like to see me just sit down and just ramble on about geography and uh, and traveling for like uh, a few videos or something? Uh, this is why I want to do a Q and A video as well. I haven't done a Q and A in forever, but I really just want to do one or two as well, just to get them get them like started again. Because really, could just do with like those videos being on the channel right now to keep the channel active. YouTube obviously rewards channels that are uploading, and they punish the ones that don't upload, and they're really making it uh, not YouTube to be fair, but situation right now in life is making it difficult for me to make uh, my standard content and I really just don't know what content to make um, it's it's a bit of a difficult one right now for sure um, so like yeah so if you have any suggestions for like content you would like to see me make outside of like the whole travel vlogging thing um, let me know down in the comments below maybe uh, you'd like to see me go back into gaming although I haven't really been gaming that much um, since maybe June. I got into gaming a little bit. I did um, Warzone for a while with my friends, but then um, I fell off again because I had basically go back to work. And when I go back to work, I just don't really have time to like game as well as do everything else that I'm trying to do. Preferably not gaming, to be honest, just because I want this channel to still be geared towards like personality traits or whatever, like personality channel. Um, gaming isn't so much that I've got so much gaming, so many gaming videos on this channel that I think it's just sort of saturated on this channel. I don't really want to resaturate it with those. I'm, I'm slowly just made enough videos to like get out of that sort of um, that gaming uh, hole, I guess that I made, and like at least now I've got like a good forty or fifty videos, something like that, um, that aren't gaming in, like in a row. Basically, I just want to leave gaming behind, but I want to make some sort of videos um, and I just want some suggestions because uh, at the moment I'm a bit, a bit stuck what videos to make. Um, might end up just being videos like this. I'm just recording on my webcam right now because it's just easier. My, my actual camera is just like a lot more of a setup to do and everything and it's just a lot more casual like this. And yeah, I mean, overall, this is just like easier to operate, honestly. Um, I haven't used this in forever, actually. Two years is when I last used this, roughly. Um, the last time I used this, I was streaming. Was, I'm using Streamlabs right now. And um, yeah, it says so-and-so subscribed two years ago. But anyway, um, yeah, that's basically it. It's like a little update just to let you know like where I've been. Actually, at the moment, um, here's basically YouTube. Um, so yeah, at the moment, if we go down, literally covered like it is every single day covered with Boris Johnson, who's the Prime Minister of the UK, uh, of uh, lockdown videos, um, presents new lockdown measures in Parliament, blah, 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 blah. And it's just crazy. The amount of uh, the amount of COVID videos that are always recommended to me, it's, uh, it's insane. Last video, uh, Best View in Krakow, 
uh, last day of the Polish vlog. Um, yeah, it's um, a month ago, 1.9k views. Very surprised that actually my Auschwitz videos didn't do as well as all these other videos, but regardless. Um, th this was so fun to make. And again, I'm so glad I went to Poland and did that trip. Yeah, it was just like an amazing experience. And I really want to do that again, you know. Um, and the only other thing I've been doing recently is uh, I decided to go for a course in Babel. I've actually decided to go for two courses uh, to learn Polish here on this page. I've only really just started with the Polish and then also um, Spanish. So again, I, I've done like an actual course in Spanish and I've now gone into my next course. Um, so I'm in course two. Uh, I've also listened to the podcast on here. Uh, basically me just brushing up my language skills in Spanish and trying to learn more Polish. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just something I've been up to in my spare time. Um, you know, it's just what I'm interested in. I've only just got into Babbel really in the last like few weeks. Um, I've also been doing other things in Spanish, like reading in Spanish and whatever, trying to really like brush up my Spanish skills. But my, oh, I've still got a long way to go with that. Essentially, uh, I'm still like very bad at like my Spanish, basically. That's only because I spent years worth of like part-time learning and also just not learning properly, um, doing only Duolingo, which uh, ultimately isn't the greatest way to learn a language. Uh, I just wanted to throw it in there because that's all I've been doing, working and then learning languages and watching TV and watching TV in other languages. Um, yeah, so uh, that's probably going to be it for this video, honestly. I just want some suggestions. First of all, questions for Q&As and then also what content you would like to see me do. Um, and I understand I'm probably not going to get any suggestions, so I'm probably just going to end up making the decision myself, um, which will probably end up just being videos like this. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've watched the video this far, then thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and also like the video. Um, with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch all of you in the next one. Until then, peace out.